Yes, there's a left-handed Aussie in town, and he means business. There you have it. Take that. 1-1, one, one, Nigel. And I suspect Smith might just be a worried man right now. Absolutely, it's nicely poised here. Andy, the pie man Smith, level with Shane Titchewich on his World Championship debut at the Alexander Palace. One set apiece. The preliminary round is coming up next. A Swede, Magnus Karras, up against Dietmar Berger. Uh, that's the prelim round, first of four legs. And then it's Walshy Mark Walsh up against Justin Pipe. And then, well, the legend, Dennis Priestley, up against Bernd Reut. And finally, tonight, the king, Mervyn King, is in town against the winner of the Karis Berger preliminary round. But this one, to open up with, is quite an enjoyable battle and a very tough one to predict, John Gwynn. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it is tough to predict. Uh, Smith, 88.4. Titchewich 86.7, but Titchewich has upped his game markedly from the first set. When, despite getting off to a decent start, he just fell away completely. Smith in the first set was quite brilliant. 62. Started the second set well, but then fell away, and frankly, now is searching for his best game again. I think this fella's got the measure now. Look at this! Oh, yes! That's 10 ton 40s now for Titchewich. And uh, he's a fair old player. We can now see why um, he's so well backed by uh, people like Simon Whitlock. And uh, he really is giving Andy Smith a run for his money here. I asked him, uh, what's the biggest crowd you played in front of? 100. And he said, a uh, couple of hundred. Bit different tonight. More than a couple of hundred in here. But uh, maybe that's the reason why he was a little slow to get off the mark. 85. But, uh, my, my, he's giving uh, Smith a game now. Yeah, it's filled up nicely. Terrific atmosphere. A lot of people have broken up for Christmas today, of course. And uh, there really is a party Nine atmosphere more. here in the Alexandra Palace tonight. And uh, a fine start to the evening, I would suggest. This man, as John just mentioned, started well, but has just seen his game go astray. 140. And uh, Titchewich. Shane, require 170. 170. Won't take it out. First to three sets, goes through to the Nine second six. round. And he require 114. Well, first class, good, clear signage. That's what you need on those. And they were good, clear signing. 58. Shane, you require 74. Oh, double 12 he needs now. Oh, 62. Go, going for double six. <laughs> you feel Smith's got to take this out now. Can't yep. afford to lose uh, uh, on the throw. Tops he needs. He's got to take this out now. He's under pressure. Oh, and a chance now for Titchewich to break 12. the throw in the first leg of the third set of this match. Double three. Not easy. Not oh, easy. And a uh, chance for Andy Smith now. A chance he thought he may not have. Double five the target. And yes, no mistake that time. 43% of the checkouts Second for leg, Andy Smith. We're level at one set apiece, but that was a big leg to win for the pie man. That might just calm him down, John. Yes. Uh, 36. Titchewich would have been very, very much the favourite to take the set had he won that uh, leg. But they both missed uh, important doubles, haven't they? I mean, Smith, three out of three hits in the first set, looked easily the more accomplished of the two. But uh, you can't say that now. 19 three-figure scores for the Australian. 21 for Smith, including three 180s. But uh, apart from those, darts like this are not helping his course. 62. That was a good last dart. He needed that vital treble from Andy Smith. 
mentioned earlier, three successive first round exits for the Payman. Lost to Mencia Sulevic, who we'll see in the second round after Christmas. He lost to Tony Ayres and then Darren Young last year. How he'd love to end that losing streak and this is nice. And he needed a score like that. Andy Smith, he'd love to break the throw of Tipchewicz here and go within a leg of retaking the lead in the match. One yes, hundred. that's a good turn, but Smith has a chance here. Missing a Christmas night out night tonight with the lads. They'll all be in the Royal Oak and one or two other pubs in Studley. He says, watching the darts, getting a cheer as I mentioned them. But at the moment, perhaps just hoping that Andy can continue throwing darts. Like that, for instance. Now then. Oh, this will be a big one! Oh, I'm lucky again. He's been so close to a 160. So close to a 156. That one perhaps even more vital. 20 for double 16 now for the pie man. For a break of throw. He knows it's a big shot coming in now. There's the target. And middle of the bird. That was a vital finish. He stepped up his performance appreciably. And he's got the darts now to throw for the set. How he'd love to win 3-1 tonight now. Andy Smith. And uh, if he does do, it's fair to say he survived a scare. And it's a nice start here to this third leg of the third set. 100. Yeah, good arc there in the throw. And uh, good still bottle. And uh, good still body at the hockey no twitching from Smith and that's a sign that perhaps he's rediscovered his best yes there's another example ah oh, yeah this is super stuff 140. another 140 relaxing again Nigel absolutely John he's playing a lot lot better that second set that he that he lost to Tituic just lost his range and now he's scoring a, a lot lot better Andy Smith and is the clear favourite to win this set now. 59. And go 2-1 ahead. Looking to set himself up here. Andy Smith for a finish as quickly as possible. Oh, is he just? Is he just? Oh, yes. That is Smith at his best. He's every right to point and reel his finger around because that is Smith at his best. He's rediscovered his very best form and maybe in time here to take this third set at this visit double 12 he needs 56 was left and he after you hit the 25 take 32 from 56 you get 24 double 12 he needs then for the set double 12 he gets and that's a good response from Andy Smith after a poor second set that hurts Tichewicz but Andy Smith retakes the lead by two sets to one. I can't wait to see those faces. And it's